G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, that guy, he's gone on a bit of a spree and I think we might have triggered him, big blue marble science guy and me and Sean Hawkins. Let's see what sort of silliness he comes up with today. What's up everybody, that guy again. Making a quick video that seems to be necessary after reading the comments of my last video that 100% debunks the globe. Well, 11 seconds in, I've already got to stop him. Well, only in your self-reported mind. Do you even check your like-dislike ratios, dude? You're killing it, and by that I mean your channel and your reputation. That's how that works. Seems like the Globetar doesn't understand what horizontal means. Straight. No deviation from A to B. No deviation of elevation of the line from A to B. Not elevation from the ground to your line. The line itself has no deviation of elevation. This is not horizontal. There is deviation from A to B. And it's not straight. This is A. That's B. See the deviation? And if this is A and this is B, see the extreme deviation? So you have a line in 1D space and a circle in 2D space, but we're talking about the shape of the Earth, a sphere, an object in 3D space. Now remember how in a video a few days ago I taught you all about non-Euclidean geometry and how that's used on a sphere? Did you not watch all that? Just tie a knot in it. That's not horizontal. You don't just redefine what the horizontal straight line is to fit your imaginary world view. Horizontal in a 3D space is exactly that. Horizontal is parallel to the ground because the ground is horizontal. Yes, but that works in both a 2D space like your imaginary pizza world and a 3D space like the real ball earth. You seem to have just had a circular argument moment there, mate. If you were to stay parallel, if this were the Earth, and you were to stay parallel to it, that's not horizontal. That's called a curved line. Horizontal is not a curved line that's specifically 8 inches per mile squared. Like the Globetard somehow still believes. 8 inches per mile square is only an approximation good for less than 100 miles. 8 inches per mile square is only used by flatties. All the rest of us smart people use earth curve calculators like Walter Bislin, which can do FE mode, GE mode, or both. And it's really an eye-opener for anyone who really wants to see which model best matches reality. You kind of get in there and you can see, yeah, that flat earth just isn't doing it. Just tie a knot in it. It's getting pathetic, guys. Just throw in the towel. Wally. Wally thinks if he goes outside and finds a street that heads north and drives along it, he's proven the globe. Or telling me that Australia has a plus 11 degree declination, saying reality, and then just claiming it's a globe. Well, I actually just asked a question. That is all. No claims were made. Yet. Show how you measure it, Wally. Because a compass uses this plane, the horizontal plane, which on here, would look something like this. That would be horizontal on a ball. That would be a straight line over a ball. So, Globetards, are we figuring it out yet? That the horizontal plane is not a myth? A two-dimensional two line can exist in reality? 2D lines do exist. Whoever said they didn't? They are no less real than 1D or 3D lines. Just tie a knot in it. There's no deviation in elevation because... It's parallel to the flat ground below it. It's both parallel to the ground and straight. Mind blown, right? And I see a lot of, a lot more flat earthers commenting and I appreciate it. I know I'm catering to the trolls by making videos toward them, but the troll count is off the root, off the charts. And you appreciate all of us Globies too, hey? That's how that works. Because I'm crushing so hard. They can't do science. They can't demonstrate anything. They believe they've solved the gas pressure issue by saying gas pressure self-supported by imaginary columns of air. Yes, that is exactly how reality works. Do I need to get the crayons out again? Or by giving me multiple 
examples of density and buoyancy of butane in a pipe, which is a container. Unconstrained container, dude. That's what we meant. That's how that works. I don't think the atmosphere in your model is contained in a cylinder. Ooh, straw man alert. No one says that it's a cylinder, dude. Just tie a knot in it. Try proving your claim of no container anywhere. Saying gravity is a container isn't proving it. That's stating your claim again and again. And gravity is not holding air, the atmosphere, to the ground. Oh yes it is. And in the link in the video of mine that I provided below, I prove that there is an acceleration vertically downwards. Gravity is what we call it. You can call it earth suck or whatever you want, but it is provable and it's there and it's nothing to do with density or buoyancy. Just tie a knot in it. Because the atmosphere expands in all directions. If you understand that very, very simple fact, you would stop saying gravity is holding air to the ground. Well, atmosphere can't expand upwards, just like water in a pool can't, or butane in an unconstrained pipe can't get out the top. It just simply can't. Gravity keeps pulling it down. It's gravity that provides the containment. That's how that works. But here we are. I'm making another video telling the, the Globetard that gas pressure rises in all directions. Remember the balloon? Can you pour air out of a glass onto the ground? Uh, I didn't think so. Not unless it's obviously more dense than the atmosphere. The atmosphere cannot be more dense than itself. It is the standard for relative density. Hang on, cowboy. You admitted that there is a pressure gradient, so the pressure decreases as the number of air molecules per cubic meter decreases. That is the very definition of density, dude. As you go higher, you get less air per cubic meter, therefore the density is decreasing. Just tie a knot in it. Again, and still. So guys, hope we clarified what a straight line is, the horizontal plane, and this is what your compass uses. Yes, because what a very large sphere looks like locally to a very tiny man like you is a flat approximation of a plane. Just tie a knot in it. If this is geographic north and your compass is pointing from A to B, magnetic north, that's the angle we're measuring. That's it. Very easy. Do that on the globe. Because this would be magnetic north. And how are you measuring an angle from wherever that's pointing? From here, you're supposed to be measuring from here to here. You don't even have a reference point. Well, you can use a 1D line to measure angles on a 2D plane. No worries, hey mate? So what would you say, that guy, if I told you that our science types use a 2D plane to measure angles in a 3D sphere? Do you see how that works? Well, the North Pole and the South Pole and the two tips of the compass are all coplanar. And when a plane intersects a sphere, you get a circle. Too easy, barely an inconvenience. Just tie a knot in it. And Wally, why isn't your compass pointing to magnetic south down there? My compass is coplanar and it points to both north and south, just like all compasses all over the globe do. Compass should be working great in Antarctica really close to the magnetic pole just like it, it would work great in the north pole wrong again the south magnetic pole is where on this map not at the geographic south pole that's for sure how many times can you be wrong in one video dude can you even see where the magnetic south pole is on this map is it around 70 degrees south the south pole's at 90 degrees south so quite a way away yet just tie a knot in it but compasses don't work in magnetic south, or that far down, because there is no magnetic south to attract it. It's still trying to get to magnetic north. It's just too far away. Too far away then, hey? Inclination has jack shit to do with the conversation too. They want to talk about the inclination, the magnetic dip has nothing to do with the conversation. At all. Inclination is the deviation of the vertical component of the magnetic vector from local horizontal. Declination is the deviation of the horizontal component of the magnetic vector from true north. It's all very easy, isn't it, mate? Just tie a knot in it. That, that line would be the equator. South. 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 I just did this in the last video, and 
25 globe tards are still telling me to put iron filings on it. Wait, they are wrong. They should be telling you to tie a knot in it. Just tie a knot in it. Bar magnet. If you're starting with the premise of bar magnet, you're starting with your assumption. You start with observing the observed phenomenon of how a compass works. Then you model it here. Then you try to make it work here. It doesn't. Period. Give it up, globe tards. Or, Wally, put a compass. This would refer to the needle of the compass in the direction it's pointing. Do some science for once in your life. Get your cronies that you listed in the, in the last comment. Sean Hawkins, Sean Hufford, a crackhead and a scumbag. Slice Barcane, you guys will learn to quit fucking with me. Only through sheer boredom, mate. But you guys will stop. Only through sheer boredom. Ha 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 